Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be uh, Aries Sun, Moon and Rising. We did our reading for April 29th to uh, May 5th, 2019. And uh, just a second to finish down, uh, guys, the shuffling. And we can go uh, directly to the spread itself. <clears throat> All right. So uh, the first card for Aries, which is uh, their topic of the week, that is going to be the Knight of Pentacles. Followed by the second card, which is the challenges that Aries needs to overcome here throughout the week. That is going to be the Sun card. And the uh, third card, which points to what is going to help you throughout the week. It could represent intentions. It could represent as well uh, what you can achieve throughout the week. That is going to be the Four of uh, Swords. And uh, the last card that we do have, that is the Guidance. The Tarot is offering to you uh, for throughout the week. So once again, we do have the Knight of uh, Pentacles, followed by the Sun card. The third one that we do have, that is going to be the Four of Swords. And uh, the last one, this is going to be the uh, Four of Pentacles. So it seems that this week is to be a, a week, I can't say, guys, really of a struggle, but it's more like a, a week where you are in a person, specific person in that occupies a... Uh, place in your life have to uh, reach a certain agreement or uh, it's kind of like you know you need to kind of find a, a common ground or to be on the same page now that uh, is the topic itself we do have a, a guy or a girl here with um, <clears throat> the knights of pentacles and for what it, this person i will say a person very well know what they want and they are uh, they they kind of like have the plan how to achieve that thing, you know, and their actions, whatever actions they are doing at, or whatever measures they're taking, those measures or actions are supported with a quite uh, strong determination. That is what I'm trying to say here, guys, is that it is very unlikely that you will be able to uh, swipe their opinion or agenda um, other way around. Uh, the accompanied card of the Knight of Pentacles, that is going to be the Knight of Wands. And the formation here, it is a, a, a passive, uh, passive neutrals. So uh, this person uh, that we do have, they rather not, well, it's difficult to explain it. They would rather not sway away from their plan in order to get what they want. But in... Um, on the flip side, if the circumstances requires it, they are ready to do whatever it's needed in order to get what, what they want. That is either from you or from the project that you are working on or from the relationship that you are in uh, together. <clears throat> so that being said, um, I don't know how to say it. it's just it's going to be it's going to be a week where you're going to bang your head against the wall trying to like i said cooperate with that guy or with that woman which by the way cooperation at the end of the day is going to bring you rather quite of a, a big success as these people they fail very rarely or very seldom i mean as i said they're they're moving uh, with a, a very rock solid strategy all right and uh <clears throat> As well, they have that, especially with this combination, they do have that sense how to get things done. 
And with the Knights of Wands as a second card, it does look like that you can help to each other in any way, especially if this this reading manifests into your career field for you or have, you know, bigger incorporation regarding to your career. Uh, you can truly use one another, you know, to get <clears throat> your goals done. And the second card that we do have for you, Aries, is this is going to be the Sun card, and that is the challenge. And the challenge it is to get on the same page with them. As the Sun card is the card of peace, of peace. Excuse me. It is the card where two forces are burying down the hatchets of war, and they are trying to find a common ground, you know, or or, or to be on the same page in order to I don't know, in order to. Um, get better things manifested into their life it does depend again on your uh on your situation but what i'm trying to say here that is going to be really challenging you know to kind of like cooperate and uh align rather reach harmony with this guy or with this girl but as a challenge that can and should be overcome uh, the thing is that <clears throat> it does look like, and that is probably something as well with your star sign, that you are a natural born leader, right? And uh, it kind of goes outside of your harmony and outside of your way that you will have to either please someone or uh, to, how do you say it? You have to oblige to someone else's criteria here, you know, as they will oblige to yours as well. It's kind of like an equal partnership and probably you're not get used to it as well. And that will seem to you like things aren't unfolding very naturally. <clears throat> and that is another challenge here to understand that before you, you get something up, you first have to as well offer or give something in a return at the start. But apart from that as well, challenging is going to be the, um, the insight or rather like the awareness that through the cooperation with this person, you can establish quite so a great um, expanding energies of growth. All right. So you can grow a tremendously from this uh, cooperation and as well, you can become lucrative, you know, or happy. Uh, again, it does depend where it, uh, it manifests itself. Uh, Seven of Cups is the accompanied card. We do have a active uh, active enemies, and uh, the Seven of Cups little bit diminishes the burning energy of the sun. It does point that you know that that is the right thing to do. You know, it's just uh, another thing on the challenges that adds up here. It is that you may find it difficult to admit, you know, that you need someone or that you need the help of someone you know or that you want to be specifically with uh, that person which you know you may have your differences but here regardless of where it's going to manifest either career or relationship wise you know the differences with that person are exactly what makes you special to one another and uh, together you are forming you know a, a force to be reckoned with so it's gonna you are going to benefit a, a big time you know from uh, this cooperation so uh, what helps you we do have the four of swords so even though you may find it unnatural you know and very hard to believe that your success or happiness goes through the cooperation with this person that doesn't mean that you're going to be unreasonable and exactly what helps you is the four of swords this represents where you're consulting yourself in a very calm fashion and a very profound level of understanding what really the issue is and how you both or how the both forces here you and that person or your collective and their collective can truly find a way to work out um you know the slogs and the uh <clears throat> the plight uh together as well four of swords it does point that you uh, are not going to be oppressed by time so you can take obviously your time to, to think about you know how you want to approach the situation with making peace or attracting that person to uh to work with you the accompanied card here this is going to be uh the chariot the formation is a uh, passive neutrals and that is another sign that together you can achieve much greater things than on your own as a neutral card it does point that things are going to be much easier than they need to be all right so it's uh, well the way i see it here is is that the tough job throughout the week is 
not just to convince you know but also to please that person to work for you or to work by your side and from there you will literally will have to do nothing um on top of it i mean they're gonna do the whole job or they're gonna uh, make the whole performance here in order to relationship could happen it depends on uh once again you know where that thing manifests for you the chariot here it does point that the luck of the hard work cannot be achieved in case you are a well, it can, but it's going to be much harder than it needs to be, you know, in case you move or, uh, <clears throat> move on alone and try to uh, overcome all of your challenges uh, by yourself. Additionally to that, um, these cards points that you have nothing more to prove in a sense of that people already see your you know people already have a high opinion of you and people already see you as a as a leader the, the thing is that the leader as well needs to offer something once again in return as a compensation or as a reward to those who are following them i mean you need to have a purpose and that will be the thing here throughout the week to convince that person of that your purpose is righteous and your purpose will bring as well benefits and above everything else a room for both to grow even further very potent by the way uh, the way i see it for a, a private business thing where you're trying to attack to attract either a, a, an investor or a business partner or generally you're searching for your specific um, individual that can do a specific job and here throughout the week you're going to find such an individual for example but you will have to convince them that you know that they are going to feel good and there will be purpose behind working in your company or working in your private business and similar thing goes in regards to your relationships so the last card here, Aries, is it's going to be the guidance. So guidance points that you will have to do whatever it takes in order to secure your future, your foreseeable future. In other words, to obtain control over it or rather like to, um, well, it's difficult for me to explain it. It's not exactly control. Uh, but to make it predictable and that happens when you secure your cooperation or interactions uh, with um, this person not to mention that as soon as you do so that card points that you are going to be feeling very comfortable kind of secure as well and it's like um, no nothing and no one can truly ruin or infiltrate your comfort zone and create shenanigans uh, on your uh, on your behalf uh, the accompanied card that is going to be the uh, five of swords and that is more like a warning here as the combination it is a um, passive enemies it does point that bragging is not the way how you're going to attract that person all right <clears throat> instead of just to give you an example instead of uh, showing how better you are than them and this is the reason why they should follow you you should show them how equal you are to them and that is the reason why they should follow you all right so this card here points that you ne really need to know where your limits are going um or where your limits are settled <clears throat> and you should not trespass your limits Additionally to that, um, these cards as well point that you are to find out that that person is very sincere and very faithful, very loyal, that is, with high, amount, with high sense of personal integrity. And uh, once again, the warning, is, the warning is, is that you are not going to attract that person through humiliating them and pointing how better you are than them. Even if you are, that is not the way. <clears throat> So that being said, guys, this was your weekly tarot reading. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.